What up guys, welcome back. As you can see, we got the Land Cruiser back. We went ahead and did the interior, reupholstered it. The only thing we didn't do was uh, the front of it, the front seats, because the driver's still in the car and the passenger I did, but I did a time lapse. I didn't think you guys were going to be very interested in it. But anyways, onto the Land Cruiser. So what we're going to end up doing in the next couple days in the weekend is um, we have to put on the indicators, we have to put on the flares, clean some of the stuff up, the paint looks pretty good, the front grill is on, all the trim is painted black, mirrors nicely refreshed. We have to get new wiper blades. All the factory trim is black again. Looking pretty good. Keyhole, windshield wipers, emblem, and then the other flare. So, and then we gotta replace this or repair it. One of the two. And then the interior needs to go back together. And then we'll decide if we're gonna change these wheels and tires and give it a little lift. Hey, what's up fam? Good morning. So it's been a couple days since I picked up the camera. Um, Saturday, it got kind of dark. Got The daylight got away from me. Um, but we did get a few things in place. We got the rear flares on. I'm waiting for these new, uh, I think they're called flare pops or something like that. For this one, I had a special order that from Toyota, which will come in supposedly today. The front flares on. Um, I was trying to put some of the indicator lights on, but as you can see, these little screw holes are missing. So luckily, when I was at Home Depot, I picked this up. And lo and behold, you could buy a two pack, $2.40. So I don't know how much the dealer costs, but you could just peel it off. Hold on a second. And they stick right in. Perfect. Cool. Almost perfect. Why is this one a little smaller? Well, that is very odd because the driver's one went in without a hitch. So maybe this one I'll have to grind down a little bit. But if you guys are interested, 
I will put the link in the description of the part number and the online number. But this one maybe have a little bit more paint than the other side is what I'm kind of guessing because the other one slid in with no issues. Okay, well, anyways, that's a fail. Not the first time it's a fail, but hey, nevertheless, it's a fail. Anyways, doesn't look like it's that much work to grind down. It's probably about half a mil off. So we'll go ahead and sand that down, put that in there, and put the indicator light back in. Okay? Um, we also ordered a new rear emblem. That'll be in Friday. Um, the one that we have broke. And that should be it for right now. As you can see, we picked up our flare pins. Part number part number 902-49-06132 in case you're interested. So what that goes on is... Whoa. right here and that goes snaps into the door so tonight we're going to get these installed um, I think I'm going to try and put the brackets back in for the rear seats and try to get that bolted on tonight as well but um we'll see it's already dark it's about eight o'clock at night on a Wednesday so let's see if I, how far we could get done on this all right Right now we're going to freshen up these black trim pieces. Um, I had already wiped them down with rubbing alcohol and um, right now line is dry and set. So once they're dry and all the alcohol has evaporated, we're going to give it one quick wipe down and then shoot it with some trim paint. This tip is bunk. It's shooting crazy old streams. Let me see if I can clean it. Okay, the spray tip is still bunk, but let's see what we could do with it right now. Let me see if I could clear it out. That's better.
All right, we'll let that set for a little bit. Maybe add another coat. boys and girls brand new emblem looking fresh right there OEM make sure it's all good oh. woo Sick, right? Brand new. OEM. Boom, boom, boom. So clean. So clean. Can't wait to put that on. Put it back in the package <clears throat> so it doesn't get damaged. have arrived um, during the week that it's just small little maintenance things um, one hold on flip this thing over got some new wipers unfortunately the dealership do not sell the refills anymore and on the Land Cruiser already are aftermarket wipers so I bought these new gas just for the hood and the tailgate 
So let's go ahead and get that installed right now. Yo guys, I can't believe it dude. This thing looks super fresh. The color with the blue, dude, it looks so good. I can't wait to show you guys in the morning to show you what it looks like, but damn. That gray, that red, that blue, whew, that's nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yo guys, I just wanted you to check out this color in the interior. We got the back row, we got the middle row seat in. We still gotta do the driver's seat. I keep saying that, but you know, haven't gotten to it yet. Um, but check out the color, dude. The exterior to the interior. Exterior to interior. I can't tell you enough how much I love this color combo. Me and Neil's been wanting to do this for a little while now, which is why we picked up this third Land Cruiser to try different color combinations. And I think this blue and red really sets it off really nicely. Gosh, I can't wait till this whole thing gets together. Um, we need to clean the carpet still and then add a few exterior garnishes. Uh, last night I installed the uh, struts for the tailgate and the hood. So now that doesn't close and decapitate your head anymore. So that's all good. Uh, put new wipers on the front. I got to put new wipers in the rear still. And then put the new Land Cruiser emblem and a couple of the blacked out Toyotas and four wheel drive emblems. So let's take a quick look at the interior again. That is just so sick. Oh my gosh. I love how it came out. Love how it came out. Hey, welcome back guys. So it's the nighttime of this morning when I showed you the interior of the Land Cruiser. So right now we're trying to button up the rest of the, the interior by adding the armrests. I already flipped it inside out because we are going to need to adhere to this. And then we also have, we also have the armrests that we are going to need to upholster as well. So these should be pretty simple. They're just stapled on and they might have some glue. Not 100% sure. I will know in a minute. And this is the old one. So right now I have laid some paper down because this stuff is really sticky and we don't want to get all over the place. So protective surface. All right, so we're gonna head out there, spray this, spray this with high strength 90. I assume this is stronger than 77 because this one's $3 more. So I wish I could read this, but I don't have my glasses. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna spray both sides, let it sit for a little bit, and then adhere it. All right, well, let's get going with that.
think that should be good. Whew. Make sure you do that in a well ventilated area because that bad boy will bring your nostril hairs. All right, so I'm gonna let that tack up and then when to attach together, as you can see, I actually put a couple lines down to show center. That way when I do line up, because this is gonna get really, really sticky, really, really fast. So what's gonna do, once it contacts it, it's gonna hear. So, that's the game plan, all right? Hey guys, thanks for watching. So I think that's gonna do it for the end of this video. Um, we did manage to get all the armrest upholster. So you got the center one and you got the door ones. So those are good to go. Um, this video has been two weeks in the making. I haven't had a lot of chance to work on it so I've been trying to piece it together but hopefully you will see this on Friday. And next week I'll be on vacation, so you may not see a video on next Friday, but we'll see. Maybe we'll vlog the trip. I don't know. But um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to see the finish of this build. I was hoping to finish it up on this video, but there's a lot of small little details that I want to get hashed out, or else I'm not gonna be happy with it. So I think that's gonna carry on to the next video and then I believe the next bit of video will be the final and in regards to lifting it we're not sure yet we're gonna do it stock keep it for a little bit we'll see how that goes and if we get bored of it we'll lift it and put wheels and tires on it all right thanks for watching